Anyways, greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. For the 40th time today, uh, we are going to try to attempt to record something right now. And we are going to be trying to record F-Zero X for the Nintendo 64, running off Project 64 emulator right now. As always, I'm Jake. I'm Richard. Yeah, and we're here to uh, show you off uh, one of my favorite racing games from my childhood. F-Zero X. <laughs> this, is, um, this is not your typical racing game. It's, um, it's, uh, for one, it's a lot faster um, than your typical Mario Kart Crash Team Racing. And um, this is actually a game that Captain Falcon is in. So in case you guys were curious or those who've never played um, F-Zero before. It's also helped uh, co-developed by Sega. They helped produce this game. And right now we're doing a Grand Prix, showing off all the racetracks right now. Uh, we do multiplayer, but I don't have a second controller on me right now. So we are just going to, yeah, we're going to play through this right now. Um, we're just going to commentate over the race. And um, uh, in the beginning, you don't have a lot of cars to choose from. I'm going with Captain Falcon because... Captain Falcon! Yes! And here we can adjust our acceleration and top speed. Uh, so you can decide whether or not your car wants to go fast or you want it to accelerate to speed very quickly. And uh, let's begin. First stage in the game, Mute City. So yeah, basic race. You have your boost pads. Ba this is a standard track. Nothing too radical or different about this one. Ah, uh, classic music from Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Actually, this came before Super. Of course, Smash of course, but it, but it was. But yeah, this it's music used. was brought yeah. in Smash Bros. So. Yes, Melee. That they have two uh, remix uh, versions of this in Melee and Brawl. I believe a one from the Super Nintendo version in uh, Smash Bros. 3DS. I actually really did like this stage in um, Melee, e even though I know a lot of people don't like it, but it had a cool aesthetic to it. Yep. But anyways, let's talk about F-Zero. Yeah, this track is fairly standard, considering um, that this is the Jack Cup, as opposed to the other royal sets of cards in which they name, used to name the cups by. But yeah, this one's a lot um, different than your typical kart racing. For one, you have an energy meter on the top right corner of the screen. And you can actually um, run out of energy here. So what does that mean? Does well, that it means mean? um, that one, if you run out of energy or if you take too much damage, you die. Yikes. Exactly. And if you die, it means you don't finish the race. So yeah, these guys are playing hardball. And it gets a lot trickier in later stages, let me just tell you. But for its time, and for right now, it's a pretty good racing game. F-Zero GX on the GameCube is a better game, but this is still very fun. Like you have loop-de-loops in which you defy gravity, and you go at blistering speeds, as you see in the bottom right corner. And we got first place. Oh, yeah. This game's winner is... Captain Falcon. Yeah. Shows your placing. There's about five or four tracks per cup. Each one harder than the last. I'm playing on novice because I'm not that good at this game. But I do like it. Yeah. There are 30 racers uh, per race. So, yeah. Races can be pretty hectic. Uh, especially when you... Uh, get into later tracks where it's really easy to fall off. Uh, big blue, I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I bet that'll be nice. Exactly. You remember, Big Blue, blue was a track in uh, Brawl, right? Not Brawl. Well, yeah, it was in Brawl, but it was also in Melee. Yeah, I always increase my max speed just a little bit, just because I like that. And um, depending on what place you finish in the previous race, will depend on your starting um, position in the next race. So if I, I started, um, I finished in first 
So, ooh, nice side view angle of the moon. You're in space. Racing in space. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, since I was first, I came in first last race, I started um, in last, I guess to give everybody else a fair advantage. Same Mario Kart logic, but um, unlike Mario Kart, there are no power-ups. There are no gimmicks. Um, it's just a, a racetrack, but you just got to be quick about it. There's turns. There's pit traps. That'll slow you down. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are all, that's all you need to know. Other than that, Dodge, beat everybody else. All 29 other racers. I have a question. Is it possible to ram people? It is. Though it does hurt yourself. It works a lot better in GX because you actually have a spin attack. But this one, you can nudge them by hitting uh, the sh um, R and L. Like this. Except you can't really... It doesn't, it doesn't really have a whole lot of force behind it. Regardless of such, it's still there in case you feel like attempting to hit somebody with it. I'm gonna switch views for a sec. You can do that by tilting the right analog stick. Or, if you're playing this on the N64, the C buttons. The right C button to be exact. Ooh, and I'm running out of energy. Yeah. Nice little announcer guy will give you uh, updates like, watch your back, and don't fuck up. I don't know, he doesn't say that, but... It's implied. Yeah. Finished in sixth place. It's a far cry from first, but hey, out of 30, it ain't so bad. Part of the track just disappeared and reappeared. Anyways, yeah, we see our placement right now. And, yeah! Sixth place, and... How do we rank uh, overall? We're... Oh, we fell seven. behind Biorex. I wonder who the heck Biorex is, but I am now pissed, and I want that first place spot. So now we go to Sand Ocean. So, click. Click. It looks like Magneto with a really bad helmet on. But yeah, here you can drive on the ceiling in these corkscrew-like contraptions. Just be careful when you get to the other side because you can fall out of them and it will cost you your life and the race. Like, but yeah, it's pretty disorienting, but it is really cool. Woo! Sorry, getting a little distracted there. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna get sick. Yeah, it's disorienting. It's pretty cool, but don't go too fast, otherwise you will get sick. Like, woo! Yeah, this is this is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Wah! Whoa, look out. Yeah. Hey, hey, you're at first. Oh, jinxed it. Nothing. Yeah, it's really easy to, um, like, jump, um, for, like, the places to get really, like, wild and chaotic. Like, you could be in first place, and then you can just fall to 11 in, like, uh, a few seconds if you're not careful. So, yeah, just be careful, and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty difficult racing game. A lot of sharp turns and, ooh, narrow tunnel, which means it's a little bit hard to steer without killing yourself, but just be careful, and you should be okay. Ow. Not like what I just did. Ah. I'm a dizzy. Yeah, again, sorry that the emulator's a little glitchy, but hey, hey, we won. And in first place, too. We win the race. We're going to Disneyland. After we get out of this perpetual circle. <laughs> Let's see how we place overall. Oh, yeah, back in first. Take that, Biorex. Now Devil's Forest. The subtitle being Corkscrew, so I'm assuming there's a big corkscrew in here. Or that, or it's the most flat and boring piece of uh, land ever, and all we do is just ride around in a flat circle. That would stink. It'd be hilarious on the developer's part, but that would suck.
Also, you may uh, recall this track being in a Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This is actually the um, original track as it was used without any uh, remixes or additions made to it. So yes, this track is in Brawl, untouched. And it's a pretty good track. Yeah, sorry, I don't talk much during racing games, especially if I'm the only one racing. I know it's not as exciting to see only one person race as opposed to others. Multiplayer games are the way to, you know, to see a lot of people's reactions. It's more fun that way in racing games. It is. And uh oh, number number thirty has gotten out in front of me. Again, if I were to recommend an F Zero game, I would recommend GX just because it's a bit more polished and it's more fun. But this is still fine. The original F Zero I don't really recommend just because it hasn't aged all that well. Whoa, someone just pushed me from behind and gave me a rear end. That didn't sound very PG, it sounded kind of dirty. But I will not lose this race. Well, you can't really lose a race. It's, it's 29 other racers, including yourself, so... It just depends on, you know... If you, if you do better each time, I guess. What am I saying? I'm losing my train of thought, Ricky. Oh, heads up. Finish! Nishvi. Thin. Ish. Quick stutter right there. But yeah. First place yet again because Captain Falcon is the man, right? That's right. Well done. There's some weird names. But so let's go let's go through the names. Um, yeah, of the other. We have Mighty Gazelle, Gamar and um Shiho, Billy, creative, Dr. Stewart, Leon. I'm assuming um, left over from the Star Fox game. <laughs> Antonio Guster, Kate Allen, John Tanaka, Michael Chain, Silver Nielsen, I'm saying that five times fast, Baba, Jody Summer, Mr. E. Ad, who, Super Arrow, who looks like um, um, Hawkeye's um, gay brother. <laughs> Nothing against that, though. Mrs. Arrow, Jack Levin, Octoman, Zoda, James McLeod, I see, ah, what, I see ah, what they ah, did ah, there. Ah, ah. Beast Man, Pico, Drac, Roger Buster, Blood Falcon, Dr. Clash, Samurai Goro, who is our rival, Black Shadow, who is the villain, and Biorex, who is an abomination. And last cup, or last track in the Jack Cup, Big Blue. Grande Azul. I'm not Spanish, I'm just kidding. So let's begin. There actually is a story mode in GX. In the voice. Whoa, Loran on that little... Yeah, you remember thing. this part from uh, Melee um, Adventure Mode? Oh yeah, I remember this part. Very confusing. Yeah, this, this corkscrew can be tricky to maneuver around because one, you have to be aware Especially in the emulator where there's constant pop-up when the track um, actually decides to continue again and you get off the corkscrew. So you just gotta be cautious of that. Other than that, standard track. I do love this track though. Soundtrack. The track itself is kinda difficult. I got boost power. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, those things can come seriously out of nowhere, so just be careful. And don't go too fast or circle the object or you will fly to your death. And you don't want that to happen. Sound advice from me to you. Ah! See, like there. I just went off the ground for a sec. You don't want to turn around the ends too fast. Because they are uh, curved, they are not uh, circular. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can. Well, it's probably going to fall on deaf ears to some, but... We need a new F-Zero game. We do. We really do. It has been since 2004 since the last F-Zero game. Ten it's, years. Uh, since F-Zero GX. Such a good game as well. I hear there's like a whole like legal issue with the, um, like Sega or AV still owning the rights to F-Zero, which is why there haven't been any new games made, but still. 
Mm. Nintendo oh. Direct just happened, and ooh. you know, that zero is one of those franchises I would like to see make a comeback, along with Metroid and Star Fox, because also Mother or Earthbound. I've never played Earthbound. Is it any good? And I haven't either, but I hear it is. Okay. Maybe when I get a chance to play it, I'll get to see what all the hubbub is. Wait, one out of twenty-nine. What happened there? Well, one of them well, must have fell off. Yeah, one of them falls off. Yeah. Then uh, they're out of the race, and the uh, count of racers goes down, which makes it technically easier for you. And they automatically start in last place. But if multiple people die, then it goes by whoever died first. So once again, we are first place. Oh yeah. Huzzah! 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 And we're in first place by a good margin. So now we get ready for the final track, Port Town, which has a high jump. Sounds like an event from Kirby Air Ride. You ever play that game? Yes, I have. It's a great game. It is a very fun game, mainly for City Trial, which I believe is what everybody plays when they play multiplayer. Yes, they do. The only reason we're talking about that is because it's a racing game and it's topical, so why not? Anyways, last day. This is the stage from Brawl, Port Town. Is that a boxcar? Ow! Yeah, a lot of sharp turns around here. Just be careful. It's just going to be... Ah, ice physics. Ow! Super high jump. Whoa! Pop in, graphic pop up. And I got way too much air time. Meaning I didn't have enough time to land, and now I'm in dead last. And that's no good. But hey, my rival's right there. Yeah, quick turn. So far, so good. So far, we are surviving. Granted, this is on novice, so this isn't that impressive, but... Like I said, I'm not very good at this game, so that's why I'm doing the easy mode. Oh, you can nosedive! I did not know that. If you tilt up on the analog stick when you're in the air, you can nosedive. That's pretty sweet. Yes, it is. Granted, it could also be suicidal if you nosedive too far, I think. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried it until right there. Yeah, but I was just wondering, since you fall down slower than if you were to just... And I'm about to die. Where's that energy field? Not for a while now. Uh, hold it together, Falk. On. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Woo. No, don't crash again. If I crash again, I'm done for. Ding. Finish. Fourth place. I get no medals. Fucking Biorex, man. Keeps getting me every time. So anyways, how did we do? We did it. We're still the top. We're still top dogs by a good 40 points. Great, great. Congratulations. And now we get this credit sequence of a boat car next to our mighty blue falcon. Yeah, that was the Jack Cup on novice level. Now it shows you your times, your max speed, now you're placing. Though when it hits the top of the screen, there's going to be a black bar right there. Yeah, because of the black outline of, on the speedometer. That's abnormal. Well, that's only on the emulator. On the actual N64, it doesn't do this. Look at all those first place rankings. I feel so proud. Go fourth place on Fort Town. I like the fireworks, though. It's a cool little thing. The little things that matter. Yeah. And a rather enjoyable game. Yes, I will is. say, that was Jack Cup. We're going to come back for Queen Cup uh, next time. And we're just going to see the ending um, pose from Captain Falcon and Co.
platforms that show your place. So the boat car with eyes, the blades on that car get number two. And as usual, we Captain get number Falcon one. Captain Falcon is number one. Yeah. Because he is just... And fireworks of Captain Falcon's face in the sky. What could be better? I'll tell you what could be better. Drinking a nice, refreshing Falcon Punch! Hmm. Tasty. Show your moves. Thanks for playing. I love when games do that. Just say, thanks for playing. Hope you had a good time. Enjoying uh, watching uh, me race. Uh, Windows 8. I'm going to kill Windows 8. Are we still recording? Hope so. Get me out of this thing! There we go. Jesus, thought I lost you guys for a second. Anyways, see you.